Welcome to this video on how to create a website banner in Corel Paint Shop Pro. Depending on the style of website you're creating, it may be necessary that you use graphics that have transparency. That way, they will blend into the background you've chosen. If you have a copy of a company logo that does not already have a transparent background, you can remove it easily using a variety of tools. First, open Paint Shop Pro and make sure that the Edit tab is active. You will also need the layers and the materials palette open for this tutorial. To launch those, click on the F8 and the F6 keys on your keyboard. In this example, I have a logo of a sun for a travel agency, and since the file is a JPEG, a format that doesn't support transparency, it has a white background by default. To remove the background, first, right-click on the image thumbnail in the layers palette. Convert the layer to a raster layer by selecting Promote Background Layer. Next, from the Standard Toolbar, select the drop-down arrow beside the Selection Tool and choose the magic wand. In this example, I'll set the feather to 3. That way the selection will slightly overlap part of the image that I want to keep and make a smoother cut. Each time you hit the Delete key, the area removed will expand closer and closer to the edge. In this example, I'll hit Delete three times. For parts inside the logo that require transparency, you can use the Background Eraser tool, which is located in the Erasers on the Standard Toolbar. Use the Eraser tip on the white space while holding down the left mouse button. The circle around the tool can overlap the rest of the image, making a clean removal of the white area. Just make sure that the tip of the eraser only touches the parts of the image you want removed. Next, create a new document that will be used for the base of the entire banner. Since most websites are between 900 and 1000 pixels in width, I'll make this document for the banner 600 pixels, or roughly two-thirds of the width of the page. I'll set the height to 200 pixels, and also make sure that the background has been set to transparent. Next, copy the logo onto the banner. To do this, open the logo, and then from the Selections menu, choose Select All. Next, use the key combination control and the letter C on your keyboard to copy. Open the banner, and from the Edit menu, select Paste as New Layer. For consistency, it will look best to have the text match the same color as the scheme of the logo. In this example, I'll use the yellow fill with an orange outline. To do this, select the eyedropper tool from the standard toolbar. Next, left-click on the color that you wish to set as the outline color, and then right-click on the color you want to set for the fill. Click on the text tool in the standard toolbar, and then click on the banner for the cursor to appear. To make a thick outline around the text, you can increase the stroke width in the interactive properties bar at the top of your screen. After typing in the name, you can also adjust the size and font style. In this example, I'll change the font to something a little more artistic, and then increase the size of the first letter of each word to make them stand out. Next, I'll write a brief description of what the company does and set the color to black so that it stands out from the rest of the banner. This is the text that will be hyperlinked to other pages on the site. To save your work, go to File, Save As, and select PSP Image. That way, if you wish to make changes to the banner at a later time, your layers will remain intact. Next, go to File, Export, and select the Image Slicer. In the Format section, choose PNG, and then click on the Optimize Cell button to launch the PNG Optimizer. In the Transparency tab, select Alpha Channel Transparency, and then click OK. Next, select the Slicer tool.
As you place the tool over the preview image and hold down the left mouse button, the slicer will automatically detect a vertical or horizontal axis. Let go of the button to make the cut. If you're not happy with a cut, you can always use the key combination Ctrl and the letter Z on your keyboard to undo. In this example, I will cut out the text for each of the three subpages, Flights, Hotels, and Car Rentals. Click on each section to add the URL that the text will link to. When this is complete, click on the Save As button to save the files. PaintShop Pro will automatically export all of the related files for the project into the folder you selected. To view the code, right-click on the HTML file and select Open With and then choose Notepad. As you can see, the banner has been set up in the format of a table, and this code can be copied into an existing site or a page can be built around it. Since a blank background shows up as white, I'll specify a color in this example so as to make sure that the file exported properly and that all the components have a transparent background. Next, by moving the mouse cursor over each one of the subpages, you can see the display at the bottom of the screen indicating the URL that it will link to. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a website banner using Corel Paint Shop Pro.